Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. So it's Friday, Friday's request day. Today's map is a creator request voted in by the Bon Bon Buddies over on Patreon. They've chosen this one because they are evil and they know how hard I find foreign languages. Luckily for me, my Hungarian is fluent, so this creator's name is no issue at all. Right, yeah, if you believe that, you believe anything. I hate them. If you hate them too, hit the like button now, please. That's right, hit the like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So what is today's map? It's Teluk Rata Bay by Elk Elka Postasta Lani Toktatok. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> I'm only going to say that one more time at the end of today's show. There's your start square. Yep, all good with that. Uh, the resources splodged, so definitely workable, if um, a little bit unconventional. And then we have uh, off to the workshop. There's a few detailing bits to grab hold of and parking lots roads, which is unusually a requirement. It does say in the description, and we will be reading the description today because the description is a lot of fun. I'll do it during the travel through. It does say don't look under the surface, especially not at the edges of the map. Well, we will, especially this bit, because the biggest problem with this map is right here. The biggest problem, this little bit of backwards facing highway. It's just, it's not good enough. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we're going to move on and ignore that for now and fly across the highways just to get rolling because there's another thing I want to show you just around the corner. That's the major thing. That's the most major thing with the entire map, what you've just seen. Little minor things like this are bugging me, right? The billboards. Now, first of all, they're ugly things anyway. But if I'm driving along here, I can't read that. So if I was advertising pop soda, I would want my billboard facing towards the highway. Now, they're not all like that, but occasionally you'll find an odd one just like that. Anyway, uh, I promised you I was going to read you some of the uh, some of the backstory. I'm only because I found it very entertaining. So here we are. Uh, the name of this area, Telukrata, means flat bay in Malay and it makes some sense to call it so. The area next to the bay is mostly flat. The mountains are mostly on the edge of the 25 tiles. Until the colonization era nobody lived here apart from some shepherds who sometimes stayed here for a night on the way home. But then in the 16th century the Portuguese came and took the area for themselves. They built a large castle here because they thought it was a strategical position but it wasn't really. <laughs> Nothing interesting happened here, so the Portuguese left the territory around 50 years later. The area was rediscovered by the English in the 19th century, who of course colonised it, because they were the English, and they could do things like colonising large uninhabited territories. The English were somewhat more attentive about this chunk of the world map than the Portuguese. They built large railway networks and transformed the main river to be suitable for ships. See, that's a bit awkward as well right there, isn't it? Anyway, in World War II, or WW2, the Ministry of Defence in the UK, of course, installed bunkers because they feared the Japanese would take the territory for themselves. Luckily, this never happened. In the 1970s, a peaceful movement started for independence. A bit steep there. Um, <laughs> uh, started for independence. Uh, the peaceful movements turned out to be not that peaceful, as the colonisers choose to be not uh, choose a not so friendly way to keep this colony for themselves. A little bit of elevated bit there, not so clever. Um, didn't quite uh, that. This doesn't quite wasn't the best tactic. Sorry, I'm reading badly. As the rebels captured the bunkers built in World War II, and uh, the complete army of colonizers surrendered and was sent off home to mummy. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Um, now, as the country's position has stabilized in the world, the government chooses to build its new capital completely from scratch in this area, and they give you the honourable task. You see, now I told you it was entertaining. <laughs> Uh, yes, now here we go, billboard behind the trees, again, bad position, this one, that one's okay, but yeah, billboard behind the trees isn't very useful, that one's okay as well, 
So yeah, with billboards, they're kind of hit and miss as to whether they're any use whatsoever. Oh, look, a ship. Now, this is going to come in handy because this, as bridges go, this one doesn't look too bad. Is it high enough, though? We always ask this question. It's almost like an age-old question. It, not that age-old because the game hasn't been out an age, but it's been out a while. And this bridge doesn't look like it's going to have it the clearance for the cruisers. The vanilla cruisers are going to crunch through. The rail bridge over there is slightly lower, so there's going to be problems over there as well. Okay, so <laughs> onwards to the... Um, sorry sorry for my bad reading, but uh, uh, the, the creator's uh, English is pretty good, if not fluent. And so some of the writing wasn't quite uh, as lingually um, beautiful as it could have been. But anyway, uh, we're going out. It looks like a plopped intersection, detailed plopped intersection. With these... Um, ah, a little bit of... Um, yeah, clipping through... Uh, we've got trees on the road. This is because of these um, these rock assets that have vanilla trees attached to them. And you can't do anything about them apart from use a mod to, rem to remove them. But uh, that's what's causing the trees in the road and clipping through the underside of the highways. Okay, now we're heading into the start square. Start square is lovely and round around about and lovely and flat to build on. And somewhere in here should be one of those lovely assets. <laughs> Here it is, it's the North Vancouver City Hall by JSF. I do like their work, I have in the past, in fact if anybody remembers the old um, theme review that we did, I had a, um, in fact in the closing credits I think of today's show, I think in the foreground you might just see their, um, they've got a secondary school, but um, this one, or a high school I guess, but this one, the uh, North, North Vancouver City Hall is a lovely building of the same sort of ilk, and uh, factoids, because, well, factoids. <laughs> um, there's no reason, oh, come on, come on. Do you really need to put this into print? There's no reason why a week should be seven days long. Well, apart from biblical, of course. In ancient Mesopotamia, a week was six days long. In West Africa, it's four days. And the French revolutionaries tried to establish the metric 10 day week. North Vancouver City Hall by JSF, today's asset of the day. Yeah, of course, a week can be any, any length you like. Heck, you can have your own personal week. A whole week being like six hours if you wanted to. As long as you can convert it and fit in with society, nobody cares. Uh, okay, uh, now down here we've got some interesting, an interesting area. I'm not buying it, but hey, at least something different. So we'll give credit for different. It's like a marketplace with um, parking lots roads for parking to get alongside. Look at the decals though. They're all over the shot all over it gone um let's do some tidying just for fun just for fun i'll put that over there we'll straighten this one up here move it across a little bit line it up there and you know speed it along a little bit and yeah it's it's yeah it's messy <laughs> i'm not going to finish the job i've got i've got other things to be cracking on with but yes um markets now that's a lot of parking for what is actually just a few market stalls i'm still trying to get these things sorted there we go the was it, they're the electric parking bays aren't they do they really, really have electric parking bays that are market stall pulling i don't know but there's a lot of parking for these little market stalls uh, at least it's a, a valiant effort at something different i guess and we've got what's this some kind of signage that's sunken into the ground. Prop snapping for that one. I haven't got prop snapping active though because it causes um, vanilla rocks to fly and uh, I don't want to be doing that to somebody's map. So instead we've just got a sunken sign. I'm not even sure why we have that sign there. It's a, it's a weird sign. It's not really saying that there's a market and, um, and what's this billboard doing all the way? Right, okay, how far is that from the road? Facing the wrong way, obviously. And how far is that from the road? That is, two, three, four, five, six, 48, but plus a couple, about 50 meters from the road and facing the wrong way. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the rail. Now, the rail, I mean, you've got the gist of the, the standard of the map. It's not the highest, not the most polished, but the rail does something really quite confusing <laughs> entertainingly confusing so the way it emerges here it goes off to the edge of the map this way over here um just look at the up and over here it's not the worst up and over bridge this still could be smoother we want to go this way though so we're going to back up the rail line we're now traveling backwards i guess 
and across uh, this uh, this rail bridge. Now, so this uh, is going to go up and downy and a little lumpy bumpy, and it's not the cleverest. And we've got a little bit of foliage on the lines as well. Um, but that's not the weirdest thing. If we head up the Coats Hanger Junction here, we're going to roughly parallel with the highway that we came in on at the start of the show, with that wrong way bit of highway right at the beginning. Do you remember that one? Well, this rail is going to do something really quite bizarre when we... Uh, when we get over here and and oh not this although this is quite bizarre as well going in the tunnel and we emerge up here that's quite a steep climb there what's that that's what oh crikey 50 meter climb it's a huge climb if not more than that I, i'm not even going to count uh but it's underground so benefit of the doubt and it's hidden and it's kind of like a fantasy map sort of so we'll let it go but this rail here what it's about to do is gonna what i I don't know. I just don't understand. I, d I just really don't understand. But yeah, up here, following up to the edge of the map where we hit the fog, except for with the fog switched off, we get this. Why? Why? I don't know. Are you struggling with water physics in the game? Are you constantly drowning and flooding your soggy little sins? Then you need the Beginner's Guide to Water Physics by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. And so back to the shipping routes. That's Teluk Rata Bay by the name that I'm only going to say one more time at the end of today's show. And uh, that one we know is too low. This one's too low, but at least we're going either side of the pillar. So we aren't clipping pillars. Quite like the way that the shipping route splits either way to go around the island. Although we've got a little bay coming in here and to come out here and go back the way we came is a little bit on the sharp side. We've got some rocks under the water here and the shipping route goes really close to the rocks. I wouldn't be too happy about that if I was a captain in real life, given the width of the, uh, the overall shopping, shipping route that we've got. Water flow, we've got some rivers that uh, trickle down into the main river area and there is good water flow here. If we have a look down here, there is actually a drain right there. That's keeping all the water moving uh, past the start square, which is a good thing even here as well. Uh, we've got a little river going down here that I don't really buy into, but uh, it's there also if you want to play with it. The Essential Lighthouse. Ah, oh, isn't it lovely? Uh, it doesn't do anything for me right there. But now this is my favourite part of the whole map. This this pile of rocks here, I think is actually really quite nicely done. I think if the rest of the map was to this standard, I would be giving a lot more stars. Um, even the glory hole. Look at the glory holes being filled in. I quite like that. That's that's clever. Well done. Very good. Or an accident. In which case, well done. Very good. <laughs> What more can we have a look at? Ah, there's the castle. Remember the castle? They built, the Portuguese built the castle. And uh, let's try and find our way up here. Is there a route up this big old, yeah, there is. Up this side of the mountain, it's quite shallow. You can climb up this way, approach the castle across here, uh, through the gates. The gates are good. Gates are good, in fact, split level as well, which is quite nice. Um, and there's no doors on the outside, excellent. And the castle itself, I, it's not my favourite castle that I've ever seen, but it, I buy into it. It's it's a solid castle. I give that. <laughs> I give you that. What more have we got? Uh, water flow. Uh, the, the the water system isn't really believable at all, which I'm calling it a fantasy map. Like um, we've got up here, we've got like this this rock thing. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, water source. I'm not buying into there, but hey, fun. Having some fun, 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 fun today. And uh, the water source up here as well, a little bit of a lake there. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's just tooled out. They're gouged out these rivers. I do have a tutorial for uh, making perfect rivers, uh, more realistic rivers. Might want to check that one out, my my friend. Um, yes, we just uh, it's a tropical environment. Lots of buildable areas. I'm going to give it give the map that. Lots of buildable areas. We've got this little river type thing going on here. It's really wide for the amount of water that could be coming out of it. Got the mangrove trees up here which makes it look a little bit swampy so that, at least that's an effort of some description that's fine and uh, the water coming out the cave is it again like we had earlier this week that's okay it's all right i don't buy it but hey it's all it's all a little bit of fun they said don't look at the edge of the map let's see if we can find something else that we shouldn't be looking at the edge of the map 
like the flat top mountain there um and here we've got uh once again a crazy crazy spring coming down here off the edge of the map right there so there are one or two things anyway um do you want to vote on the map <laughs> is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10 will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide my opinions aesthetically it's not pretty i don't think it's i don't think it's pig ugly either for that matter but i don't think it quite sneaks into three star territory and i'm going to give it uh, a lowly two um but a little little nod for at least some effort for some areas as well so yeah um detailing well again um nice to see some effort gone into some areas don't think the skill levels are quite there but um practice makes perfect and um plenty of practice plenty of practice uh so yeah i'm gonna give that i'm gonna give it two stars we'll call it a medium to middly high two yeah edging towards a three but not quite there gameplay potential we've got the broken bit of road um we've got a lot of things that i think most of us would just want to delete and rebuild from and to be honest with you be quite happy just to play one of the vanilla maps instead of this one it's not horrendous it's not broken it's two stars for gameplay. So Telekrata uh, Bay by Elk Elka Postasta Lani Tatatok. There we are. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. And to the little bar stewards over on Patreon for voting this map in for me to review. I hate you all. Every single one of you. <laughs> Uh, join me yet again tomorrow for another map in the Watermap series. And of course, you can join me on Patreon and you too can vote in the map that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I'd love to see you there. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon. Oh, don't forget to join me tomorrow night for Duvo. Don't forget. <laughs>